this is the perfect small gift to get the filmmaker in your life this Christmas season. But for real, I would give up a lifetime of Christmas gifts from anyone that I have known or will know to get an Aerie Alexa Mini LF, but that's never gonna happen because I don't think Santa partnered with Aerie. Anyways, I thought about making a gift guide for filmmakers, but then I thought, well, the people who watch my videos are filmmakers, so instead of making a gift guide for filmmakers, uh, I just decided to make a Christmas list for you. So here's a filmmaker's Christmas list. Also, I know that this is ridiculous. It's getting more and more ridiculous, and I'm trying to make it more and more ridiculous. First on the list, we've got Accidentally Wes Anderson. This is a photo book that is full of photos with, well, you know, photos that are accidentally Wes Anderson. It's gonna look great on your coffee table or wherever you wanna put it. It's just really pleasing to look at and pretty inspiring too, so definitely worth a check out. Oh, and it's $15. Next up, we have something that I think every filmmaker should have because if we can't get the Aerial X Mini LF, what better thing to buy than an Airy water bottle? $27. Next, you just always have to have this, but if you somehow don't have one, I think it's definitely worth asking for. Small rig multi-tool. They range in different prices from 15 all the way up to like $50. This is the one that I have, it's my favorite. 30 bucks, boom. And if you're like, but I don't know where I'm gonna put this small rig multi-tool, then you need an AC pouch. I love my AC pouch. This thing comes with me on every shoot and it keeps all my tools in it and a couple extra knickknacks that I just don't think that I'll need but they're always there when I need them. $30, AC pouch, can't go wrong. Now, if you're a real filmmaker, then you're a fan of every A24 movie. So why not show the world that you're a fan of A24 by buying an A24 cream hat? $35. Need I say more? Continuing the theme of being a real filmmaker, if you don't care about IMAX and, you know, large format film formats, then do you really even like to make videos? Anyways. I'm not gonna question your motives, but I am gonna tell you that there's a really cool large format tee on this website. This is from a creator, and I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation of his name, so I'm not gonna say it, but I'm gonna put his you know, profile somewhere here because he makes incredible videos on YouTube and now on Instagram as well. He's a film filmmaker. He actually shoots on film, so yeah, definitely worth checking out his entire shop, but this large format tee is sick. I'm actually asking for this for Christmas. Next up, we have my favorite organization solution that's out there. I like it because it's really practical, but also it just looks good. I think it looks better than every other bag like this that exists, and that's the CRD bags. I've got this one at around $40, but you can get multiple packs of them. You can get a variety pack, whatever you wanna get. There's different price ranges in there for anyone, but I love these things. I have five of them. I use all of them all the time. This next one, I think it's interchangeable. You don't have to get this exact model, but this smart SD card holder that has a built-in micro SD and regular SD card reader is actually pretty sick. I saw it on Potato Jet's channel, and I think it's something that would just be you know cool to have. Obviously, if your camera doesn't shoot with SD cards or micro SD cards, this is completely useless to you and you should actually get an SD card holder or CFast card holder or CF Express card holder, whatever it is that you need because that would be better. But they're probably all gonna be around $35, so you really can't go wrong. And they're not fun things to buy, which is kind of the sort of thing I like to ask for for Christmas because like one year for my birthday, when I was like 18, I asked for C-stands. This is this is who I am. I don't I don't apologize for it. Anyways, I'd show you this product in person, but my camera is literally on it right now, and it's this Ulanzi mini tripod. I love this thing because it has the Arca Swiss plate on the top. Most of the mini tripods just have like a little, you know, quarter twenty that sticks out, and it's super annoying to attach your camera to. But this one has the Arca Swiss, so it's perfect, and it's thirty seven dollars. I think every filmmaker should own this little tripod. It's so sick. And last in this category is actually for your phone. It's basically gonna put a little mini cage on the back of your MagSafe mount on your phone. Obviously this only applies to iPhones, but it's the Moment MagSafe multi-threaded mount. 45 bucks, super sick. I have a couple of them. And if I wanna mount my phone in a weird place to get a shot, or if I just need my phone to hang out in a weird spot, I get a clamp, a magic arm, and this multi-threaded mount, and we're off to the races. That was the speed round, sub $50. Now we are into a little bit more expensive territory. We're gonna be diving into sub $100 for this gift guide. As old Satan Inc. used to say, let's get into it. Santa never said that. So back to being a real filmmaker, it is important to let people know that you actually watch movies and care about indie films and, and everything and all that. A24 crew neck, you should probably get it. It's embroidered, it's pretty sick, $75. It's also black, so like you could wear it on set. And then all the people on set are gonna know that you're a real 
like filmmaker like you're a fan am i being too sarcastic next up this light looks like it should be out of a freaking sci-fi movie it's so sick I really want one. The Zion Zoon. Uh, no one knows how to say their name. It's the M20. It's a $90 white. You can get the like combo pack with all the little accessories. That costs like I think $120, but you can get the whole thing for $90. If you're trying to decide between like an Aperture MC and this M20, I'm personally buying the M20. Even though I own Aperture MCs and I love them, it just looks cooler. It just looks sick. So maybe that's the one you should get. I don't know. So back to Roma Film Co. This website, there, like I said, there's just a ton of things that I love on this website, but the crew hoodie, I think it's pretty dope. It's orange, so granted, you're not really gonna be able to wear it on set. It's one of those hoodies that you're probably gonna get and own for a freaking long time, and it says crew on it, so the regular folk will know that you're a filmmaker. Genuinely though, I think that everything on Roman Film is like a very tasteful take on like filmmaker merch. I'm a big fan of it, and so I'm just gonna hype them up as much as I can. Oh, and it's $65. I think that most filmmakers have a little photo camera that they like to take around, but not every filmmaker has a really nice camera strap for said camera. So you might wanna check out Clever Supplies camera strap. It's on shopmoment.com and it's $72. It's leather, it's gonna be nice. It's just, it's gonna be the strap that you're gonna need. They also have different variations of like length and stuff. I think Joe Greer just came out with one with Clever Supply, so. And you're gonna look super cool with a leather camera strap. Lastly, and I can't believe that this is in the sub $100 category, but if you've heard of Seven Artisans or TT Artisans, then you'll know that they make some pretty affordable lenses. And they have a 35 millimeter lens for Fuji X mount, Sony E mount and a couple other mounts and it's 80 bucks. Definitely worth checking out all the seven artisans lenses, but specifically that 3514, beautiful lens. I have one actually, fully manual by the way. I feel like that's important to know. Okay, now we are on to the last category and it's getting expensive. It's the sub $200 category. I didn't wanna go higher than this because you know, inflation. Things are getting expensive. There's some pretty cool things in here if you wanna spend over $100. This Loom Cube tube light, this thing is so sick. The things that they built into this little tube light are like little things that most companies haven't thought about. They have these magnet mounts that actually like rotate so you can rotate the light to be the direction that you want it while it's still mounted to a magnet thing. And they have obviously, you know, a ton of RGB options and different effects, but it also charges via USB-C, which is super nice. And it comes in a cute little case with a little tripod for it. So you can stand it up vertically or you can magnet mount it to anything that is magnetic. $130 you will not regret it. I own it, so I can say that. Now, if you are a filmmaker who, you know, is shooting on mirrorless cameras, you are probably using a variable ND of some sort. Or if you're not using one yet, then you need one. I've actually linked Moments variable ND in the description and all the tests that I have seen uh, show very minimal color shift. So I think it's definitely worth it. 77 millimeter one, which will fit probably the majority of your lenses is 140 bucks. But if your little photo camera, like we talked about earlier, happens to need a variable ND, then size down on the filter and it'd work great. Now, every filmmaker needs headphones and for the longest time I was rocking some Audio-Technica MX-50s. They were like the one to buy for a long time. But then I started looking around at different options and I found these ones here. These are the AI, 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 TMA2 headphones. The name is a mess and I, I don't want to talk about it, but what I do want to talk about is the fact that they're modular. So you can buy different drivers, you can buy different ear cups, and you can buy different head, you know, pad things. They have a Bluetooth option, they have some regular options. I have just a regular option, like the lightweight one. They actually sound a lot better than the Audio-Technica M50s. In my opinion, they're a lot more clear. 160 bucks, you're gonna get some great headphones and they look pretty sick too. So what do we think, huh? Okay, moving on. Every filmmaker needs to be able to carry their gear. There are tons of backpacks out there. The one that I am currently using is the Moment Everything Backpack. <laughs> So you should probably check that one out. Uh, but obviously, Moment has a ton of other backpacks on their website. You can get to their website through the link below. I would appreciate it if you did that because it's an affiliate link. But their Moment, uh, just generic backpack is 115 bucks. And literally it's what I've been using for the last year because I literally got it for Christmas a year ago. Maybe you could get it for Christmas. And then a year from now, you'll be talking about how you've used it for a year. And you will be so happy that you have been. 
Next, Zion is back at it again with another light. Their 100 watt light. This thing looks like a freaking, I don't know. They're just on some sci-fi stuff. Whoever's designing their products, I wanna meet them because I wanna give them a hug. $200 for this 100 watt light. Pretty good deal and it's freaking small. That is the end of the filmmaker's Christmas list. I hope that there was something in here that you're like, oh frick, I didn't even know that existed. I'm gonna ask for that for Christmas. Or if you're just gonna, you know, treat yourself, buy a little gift for yourself, Maybe you found something to buy yourself. I hope that you have a very, very relaxing holiday. Don't forget, it's okay to rest some. Um, I say that as I'm literally putting YouTube videos out in December, but uh, I am going to rest. Don't worry. And if you're looking for a video you should watch next, you should check out this lighting experiment that I did. It's, it's a pretty fun watch, uh, and I just basically light a scene with Home Depot lights. So, yeah. I don't know how to end these videos, so we're just...